Frozen, the hit Broadway musical, is now on at Shays. And while most of the actors have travelled from out of town for the show, for one cast member, the theatre is just down the road from home. Hi there, I'm Robert Creighton, and I play the Duke of Wessels. No Weasel Town, Wessels. Don't forget it. Robert is our local connection to Frozen. He and his Buffalo born wife, Whitney, live in Snyder with their two children. This seems to be the trend in Buffalo. The, um, you're not from here, Molly, so uh, I'll share this with you. But people, I think my experience is with the females, but I think males too, they go away, live their life for a while, and then they come back. And they bring whoever they're with with them. So that's what happened to me. <laughs> but Robert isn't actually that far from his original hometown of Walkerton, Ontario, where he grew up with a dream to play in the NHL. So what happened? Because at one point your career goal was to play for the Leaves. And of True. course you failed at that and ended up on Broadway. Yes, that is a correct statement. My glory days were really between the ages of 7 and 11 as a hockey player and I played till I was 15 but that dream of being Mike Palmatier, someone will know that reference, uh, the goalie for the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, you know, died a sad death. Uh, but my secondary dream, my fallback, because I like secure career paths, first was NHL, second was being on Broadway. And while it took 10 years before Robert landed his big break on Broadway, he now has a ton of credits, including roles in Lion King, The Little Mermaid, Chicago, and he played the original Wesselton in Frozen. Growing up in Buffalo, or even where I was in a small town, Ontario, it seems like such a distant thing, right? It seems like it's a dream. It really is a dream because you don't even know what it means until you get there. Right, so it's, it's not like you can dabble in it. Um, but I think as you take each step and you get a little bit closer, uh, and then you finally break through into that world, for me, I think there is an extra sense of gratitude because you, you realize how fortunate you are um, to be in that little 1% or less than 1% that had that dream and actually get to do it. So you've done this show on Broadway. How does Shays compare? Let me tell you something. Um, I was part of the whole development of this show, like the workshop, the out of town, as I said, and the and first two years of Broadway. Um, coming into this company was, uh, just shows you how much talent is available. The, the people that you're gonna see here at Shays and that are in the tour are world class. I mean, there's no, there's nothing better. They're different people than I did it with on Broadway, but the talent level is just the same. This is a Broadway company. Um, hearing, hearing the two Carolines, Elsa, Caroline Bowman and Caroline Interbickler, Elsa and Anna, sing those songs, you will, it's just chills. It's just like pure chills every time. Uh, it's, it's incredible to be a part of. And um, they're letting me do my, my track had changed a little bit, but they're letting me bring my sort of um, origination of this role to, to this company. And they've been so welcoming and open to that. And I'm having the time of my life. What a gift to get to do it again with this group of people. Even with Buffalo Quarantine adding a little challenge to his return to stage. Yep, it's hard putting on my Wesselton costume after 17 months. I mean, I did get it done up and everything, but it, um, it was not happy about it. My costume was like, this is not the guy who put me on 17 months ago. <laughs> so, but we're getting there. We're working on it. Cutting down on the wings. Um, but yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving it here. See so. Robert on stage in Frozen on now at Shays Theatre. I am so excited to check that out tonight. It's going to be so cool. And of course, that Frozen is playing until September 24. If you want tickets, go to shays.org.